What's up, everybody? I just I wanted to kind of show you what saw setup I have and mill that I have and what I'm running and why I chose to go with it. And so in this video, you're gonna see what saw I have, what bars that I have. I'm not gonna pull the chains out, but I'll tell you what chains that I use, show you my mill. So stay tuned and check it out. So first off, uh, that's the big boy right there. It is a steel uh, MS661C. Um, man, I got that from a local place here in Conway uh, called Conway Farm and Home. They're, the guy Nathan there is incredible. Eventually, I do want to have an 880, uh, the big, big boy, and I want to be able to have the uh, even bigger mill than I have now. But yeah, this one does the job right now. She does a great job. I. I can't speak to the experience of anything smaller than this in running a mill because this is the only one that I've used. I just decided I saved up. I sold wood that I had taken from trees that I would take to a bandsaw mill and use that money eventually to buy this big boy um, and use it. I, I figured it was a better, it was just more cost efficient to jump into this one first than to jump into the 880 and it allowed me to do some milling. and be able to do some pretty big stuff as well so i've enjoyed it so far i haven't had any issues i have a buddy of mine who has the husqvarna that's uh equivalent to this size but um man i'm just i'll be honest i'm a steel guy i've had great work, luck with it and all of my tree service guys friends recommended steel to me and so that's just what i chose to go with my friend he runs his husqvarna it does great too so i'm not like picking sides i just i would encourage anybody Get something that works, whether it's a Husqvarna or steel, just go for it, get it, and move forward from there. And then you're gonna see, I've got three bars, big, bigger, and biggest. So uh, up top, I have a, a 36 inch steel bar. That was the one that came that I purchased with my saw. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head how much that allows me to mill. I think it's, I think you lose like six inches, uh, so whatever that is. So it allows me to get up to like 30 inches or something like that. Um, then I have the Oregon Power Cut. That is a 42 inch bar. I ordered it off Bailey's online and that has been a great bar. It allows me to cut up to like 36 inches wide and uh, it does great. Uh, I got my chains from Bailey's as well, the ones that fit and match this Oregon Power Cut. It does awesome and so I've loved using this bar. And then recently, uh, because I sold a bunch of cutting boards and stuff, I was able to upgrade to this Forrester um, Pro Series. And this is a 52 inch bar. That's right, like as a big boy. And uh, I wasn't sure if my saw could run something that big, but after watching a lot of YouTube and Instagram of Jared from Second Life Designs, he's been a big inspiration of mine and learned a lot from him. Um, he runs a 56 inch bar on his steel 661 so my I decided to get a 52 inch bar and you can get them on online at Forrester.com you can tell it's still in the package I haven't had a chance to run it yet but I will be running it in the next few weeks and be giving some reviews uh, on how it does and how my uh, saw handles something that large I mean the reality with a chainsaw mill it's not like you're gonna be blazing through it like they do a bandsaw mill um, my my steel has no problem running the 42 inch bar right there it does great again you're not like going to be blazing through it is chainsaw milling it still is slower and takes a little bit more time but um, man my saw handles both of the top two really well and i'm looking forward to using it the reason i didn't go with the 56 inch bar is i have the 48 inch mill uh from Granberg, and uh it looks nice and shiny i have used it a lot but Man, here's the one tip I would give. Go the extra mile and clean my stuff off every time I use it. I clean my saw. As you can see, it's been used a lot, but I clean it. My bars are clean. And I think you've got to take care of your equipment. Uh, you can see I've got the winch attachment on here. Let me just tell you, the winch attachment is a game changer. It is incredible. And so I would uh, highly recommend getting that. And So anyways, that is my setup for my mill. I'll probably make some more videos with some add-on stuff. As you can see, I tried to attach product numbers of what I have in regards to my chains 
in regards to my bars because I know it can be very hard to find the exact ones or even what model numbers to potentially look at because there's different pitches and gauges and there's so many different saws. And so hopefully you'll be able to look at those and and dictate whether you want to be able to do something like that or not, or at least it can be a helpful starting point for you. I got my stuff off Bailey's. I've got my stuff off Forrester. I've got my stuff off Granberg. Again, and I know there's a lot of different bars. There's probably a lot of different chains, but these are the ones that I've used and they've worked for me. Another tip that I would say is I buy multiple chains at a time. I think for every bar that I have, I have three to four chains. That way, if I'm ever on site, doing a mill job and or milling my own stuff and I hit metal instead of having to like stop and sharp because sometimes metal could do big damage to a blade I'm able to just change it out but I don't just put new blades to keep putting new blades on I try to sharpen the ones that haven't been damaged by metal um, as best as I can so that I have those other ones on hand if needed so those are just some tips on my setup if you have any questions comments or any other equipment that you use that I should maybe add in there, let me know. Put it in the description box. Leave a comment. Like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Thank you for watching and hopefully this was helpful for you as you get set up on your milling.